Hello, and welcome to the James Castle House. My name is Tara, and I'll be your guide on this series of video tours. James Castle created thousands of artworks during his lifetime, the majority of which were made while he lived in the house, shed, and trailer here at 5015 Eugene Street in Boise, Idaho. As a deaf man and self-taught artist, he was afforded the rare opportunity to focus on a daily art-making practice while he lived with his family. His unique experimentation and investigation of his environment provide us with an unparalleled story of 20th century American life and culture. The James Castle House celebrates the life and work of this incredible artist through exhibitions, community programs, research, residency programs, and conservation. James Castle was born September 25, 1899, in Garden Valley, Idaho, to parents Frank and Mary Castle. Family tradition holds that the night before he was born, his mother was helping fight a fire nearby, which may have been the cause of his premature birth. Castle was born about two months early, and this might be the reason why he was born deaf. The only other deaf person in Castle's family was his older sister, Nellie, who became deaf due to a childhood illness. Castle began drawing at around five or six years old. Art became his primary means of communication throughout his life. While he did attend the Gooding School for the Deaf and Blind for about five years, he never learned any formal communication style. Instead, he used home sign and his drawings to share his needs and wants. We are in the general store, which is a small retail space. This general store is inspired by the store and post office the Castle family ran from their home in Garden Valley to supplement their income as farmers.
The Castle family lived in Garden Valley until they moved to Star, Idaho in 1923. Frank passed away a few years later, and so Mary decided to move to Boise. She purchased this Boise property on Eugene Street in 1931. At the time, this property was a five-acre farm lot with a few outbuildings and a small single-room farmhouse. When you walk through the pocket door, you will be entering the historic family home. It is now a gallery and gathering space. Meet me in the gallery for the next video in this series.